Here you can see a normal distribution. And if we want to standardize scores in standard deviations, we can use z-scores. So the center of the distribution will be a z-score of 0, and the rest of the distribution will be measured in z-scores in terms of standard deviations. So a z-score of 1 would mean that this value is one standard deviation above the mean, which now is 0. And the percentages are applying exactly the same way as a normal distribution, because it is the standard normal distribution. Right? So you have 34% about between 0 and 1. And then if we add another one standard deviation, so for between 0 and 2, we have about 47.8%. And between 0, uh, 0 and 3, we have almost 50%. Note how this curve is asymptotic, so that means it never really actually touches the x-axis. Right? It just keeps going. And the same is true for the other side, right? It's an asymmetric curve. So we have about 34% between 0 and 1, minus 1, and about 34% between 0 and plus 1.